here at Mowers and Blowers. We push them into the garage, but they come out driving. That's right. I finally promised that I was gonna get back to this. I took a week off of this thing because I was busy picking up so much stuff and uh, to work on some other things that had more priority, you know, people buying things, had to fix it, whatever, and here we are, carcass of crap. As you saw from previous two episodes, we put an engine on here, a 12 horsepower flathead, got it running amazingly, right? And uh, now we're gonna put, now we're gonna put uh, the deck. Hi, Bella. We're gonna put the deck on. Right? Aren't we gonna put the deck on today? We're gonna put the double stack pulley on there, right? And we're gonna put the uh, belts on, see if this thing moves forward and backwards. Had some rust around this area. Just did that really quick to get the rust out of that area because that could bind onto the belt as well as wear the belt out because it has these um, rust particles there, acts like sandpaper. Over time, it, it could damage your belts. So now it's nice and clean, and we're gonna put this tractor on its side so we can have good access to put the uh, double stack pulley in. I gotta find a, a bolt too. So here we go, I'm going to slip this through here so that it's easier for me, Put some tension on there. The belt in between the keepers. Is that it? So that's it. Found the bolt, I think it's the right one. Goes all the way in, you could feel it. There we go, nice. Inspecting the pulleys. I think I might have to take care of the brakes though because this is engaged. and the brakes don't work. <laughs> Put some lube on here. Some. Moving parts. So I was just gonna take the deck and put it here and then put it back down again, easier, right? But then I figured, what if the drive doesn't work and it doesn't move forward and backwards? I'd have to end up taking the deck back off again and figuring it out, you know? So this way, at least we can try and see if the transmission works before we put the deck on. All right, let's see if it starts. It's been sitting here for a week or, week or so. Uh, and I haven't started it up since then. Um, surprisingly, it doesn't uh, leak, you know, because I was really worried about that Flowjet carburetor, you know? So let's see if it starts. Remember, I made this choke.
awesome. So I felt it. Transmission's solid, um, really responsive too. So belt's good, pulley's good. Um, tensioner as well as idler pulleys don't make any noise when you disengage like that. So all good. Uh, the brakes though are seized for sure. So uh, <laughs> that's always a hope if you get it right or not because when they put the brake caliper on, right, they actually put some Loctite in there. So it's almost impossible to get the bolts out without stripping them. Really tough, you know. And then you bang out the uh, pistons, lube it up, grind it to get the rust out in between there so that the pistons move freely in the brake caliper, right? Replace it and there you go, you adjust the brakes that way. But uh, being how old this is, I don't expect me to successfully remove the two bolts that hold the caliper in because like I said, they're usually Loctite in there. Almost impossible to get out without breaking the bolts. So let's put the deck on now. I was just about to put it on and then I remembered that I only had one of these. These go in the front like that, you know. I don't have the other one because um, I forgot to get them from uh, a set from Nick Iardi over in West Islip. When he gave me that deck, I forgot to take the two that he had. So I'm not going to drive all the way over there just to get one. So I looked in my box of parts and I found this thing. I think this could be part of the deck, but I think it, this, this is the bar to engage. But look at it. It's exactly the same length. Exactly. Um, so I don't think this part here will fit in the hole, so I have to grind these down and find some kind of clip. Yep, it won't fit, see? So I'd have to grind that. So it would fit. And then find some way to affix it on there. it's through here I put some kind of pin over here sucked but got it on there. There you go. My makeshift uh, hangers worked. Problem is now check this out. It doesn't have a cable. It's no cable man. Uh, I don't know if I have a cable. I think I bought a brand new one a while back, but should I use a brand new one on this piece of junk? Like I have any choice, right? Brand spanking new.
Bought this a little while back thinking that I would use it for something. I ended up getting another one for it and never used it. Had it for about uh, uh, a year. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it's a brand new cable for exactly this. I guess I'll have to use it. Uh, that's all right, I guess, right? If this ends up being a uh, running mowing tractor, you know, I'm only in it for $25 for the battery and whatever I paid for this. Maybe $10 or something, 15 So I'm going to install this now, see if it works. back let's see need a little knob there that's not right I think this knob goes over there this is a MTD shifter hey I think this one's gonna work better than nothing yeah this one works that, that tension's tight Let's try it. about it huh starts runs mows drives just fine <laughs> as a matter of fact I think this one runs better than that green one I sold for 425 <laughs> I'm connecting the lights you think the lights would work no way right I just connected the lights no way let's see don't work 
going to have to do something about that. So both light bulbs, the glass bulb was detached from the bottom part. So both light bulbs were done, ski. I put some LED bulbs in there. I know, I know, carcass of crap. I put some nice LED bulbs in there. Got a brand new deck engagement cable in there. Got a brand new battery. I don't know, those light bulbs were like, I don't know, 20 cents, so 40 cents. Let's just call that a dollar for both, right? Uh, 25 for a battery, but the battery was a used one from a, a year ago, so it's a year old battery, but still 25, 26, and I think $10 for this cable, so let's just call it $35. So I'm in this for $35. If I can get more than $35 for this, it's a win. Because, you know, we made a three or four part episode for this, right? Anyway, so, um, there was no power going from the circuit uh, to the lights. So as you know that this um, wiring harness, right, it comes with a wire that is a switched current 12 volt, 12 volt, which is supposed to go to the fuel solenoid, right? But this engine, of course, is the old one, it doesn't have a fuel solenoid. So it had a switched power line from when you turn the power to one click. Huh, it worked before. Oh, it is on. <laughs> Here, let me do that again, okay? So now we got some switched lights. When you turn the switch on, the lights are on. Turn the switch off, lights are off, you know? So very good. How about that, huh? Can you believe we got this carcass of crap going? It was just a frame. No hood, no engine. Wheels are all flat. Put ATF in the wheels. Put a flat, free flathead engine in there. Got the lights working. Put this hood on. Put the seat on. Got a Swiss cheese deck. We put it on. Everything works. Actually, it starts pretty well, too. Ready? I'm not doing nothing. I forgot. We did put a new starter on there, didn't we? <laughs> So we, put, we did a lot of stuff to this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go and grind all the rust off. That's like a day and a half of work, you know what I mean? And then just paint it again. Just not into it. And uh, while I was moving around and stuff, the brakes seemed to work all of a sudden. You know, when you move things around, it starts to work, you know? Uh, I think I should just take some pictures with it on my lawn and then sell it for like 375? And then talk it down to like 300? I have sold haulers for 300, you know what I mean? And this thing just works. I'll call it the ugly craftsman mower, but it works. We'll see what happens. I'll list it for 375. Thanks a lot for joining my uh, episode for today. Uh, pretty successful, if uh, you guys would agree. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, 
hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.